Now, would you look at here, this shit. This toolbox has been properly smashed because we were using ratchet straps, hold down a truck, ratchet straps broke, that little truck right there just whoosh, whoosh, busted it all up. We gotta replace it. We'll show you how it goes. Well, we got a ratchet strap off. And, uh, we gotta empty this damn thing out. Oh, just hit me. All right, we got all that junk out of there. And put the battery on the ground over there. You can see right here, I had three holding this toolbox down. There's one here, one under that box, and one right there. And when it hit, I guess, it just sheared that nut off that bolt. Because it was like this, it really wet. It'll be fine. We we'll got another bolt in there. So I'm gonna get those out with this uh, millimeter, and then we're just gonna go and twist it, and it'll be popped out right there like that. All right, we got the box empty. Let's try to get it out of there. There you go. See, I put these supports in here. When we first got this trailer, because I don't like the triangular toolboxes. I like the square toolboxes. I can fit more stuff in there. But they'd have to weld this on. If it's been holding up fine, shoot, it held up through a crash, be, be good. Let's get the new toolbox on there. All right, you can kind of see these are a little bent. We're still going to use them. We're just going to straighten them out. And one of the bolts was stripped, so. Let's get a hammer. We'll need another bolt. Looks like. Kind of like that one right there. That one's flat. Put this one upside down. That one's flat. Did you look at that? Talking about recycling. Those would have been trash. We got a couple more things. Because I noticed there's a little rush going on right here. And uh, we can't be having none of that. This is a fine trailer. So first we'll hit it with a little 120. I was like brand new already. <laughs> this is some automotive grade rust killing spray paint, you know, just little back and forth, never too long if you don't want it to drip. You know, about like that. You're about fine. Make sure it all looks the same. Hmm. Just notice all over here. Yeah. Be fine. That looks kind of rusty. Not anymore. Oh, that's nice. It's like brand new again. Perfect. Alright, we got that all painted up. Now for the reveal. <whistles> Brand new toolbox. Went with black this time. Mainly because that's the only one they had, but it sure is pretty. Why the fuck do they make these stickers on here so well? Like super glue these things on. Alright, after many hours of hard work, we got all the stickers off and I uh, figured out what those little bolts are for right there. That seems interesting. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we got a hole in right there. Got our bolts. Boom, bolt, nut, washer. So we'll drop our washer on with our bolt. Yep. Grab a hammer real quick. There we go. Alright, we're having a problem with this toolbox. That bolt is way back there. And I can't access it from the back. So I gotta go in from the front, but I can't get my arm all the way back there. So, went and got a wrench and angled, angled at the end. Put some masking tape on there. Need my locking washer. And then I'll just put it up in there and let my wife turn the top. Hopefully that'll work. All right, we got her bolted in. She's not going anywhere unless the truck hits her again. Three bolts, triangular pattern, grade eight in the back, those in the front, and then hopefully should stop some more forward momentum for us. This kind of acts as a headache rack for us on this trailer. Well, it did, because if the truck would have kept going, it would have hit the jack, which probably would have stopped it. But if it, if it rolled over this rail here, it could have fallen off the trailer and hurt somebody pretty badly. You know, probably that little truck is a demon truck and we should just sell it. That's the goal. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later. Give me a like and subscribe. Adios.